All right, team, go ahead, get into your space, starting with single arm circles going forward, one side at a time. Switch it up, other side going forward. And backward with the right. I always take the warm up time as like a time to just like kind of focus on breathing too. You now sometimes I'll throw that in there as we're warming up, but actually like consciously thinking about where your breath inhale, exhale's at. And it seems to go such a long way when you kind of like feel yourself from like head to toe kind of engaging and getting ready for the actual workout itself. Next, let's go high knees, bring the knee to the chest. Just throwing a little philosophy at you guys. And you can pump the arms, run it out. Going butt kickers in three, two, one, and go ahead and switch it up. Start marching like so. Can gradually go into a run. In today's workout, this is the one, guys, where we do the core circuit in between. So just two exercises back and forth, four rounds, and then core in between. Go ahead, jog it. Go walking hinges, go with the scoops today. Use your space side to side. I'm just gonna do a couple steps each leg, turn around, do a total of about eight to 10 on each side. Couple more. Facing me, wider base, go hip circles. In opposite direction. Go ahead and lunge to the right. And then we're going to transfer over. So stay low to the left and then up. We'll go in that same direction, right, across, and up. Opposite leg is straight. So I go to the right, my left leg straight. Stay low, stay low, feel the hips, hips opening, and then return nice and tall. Reset. One more on this side. Good. And now let's switch it up. Lunge to the left, sit across, fire up. Lunge to the left, sit across, push through the right hard. Two more on this side. And last one, sit into it, all the way across, push through the heel, and up, good. Let's go jumping jacks, about 15 to 20, go ahead. Four, three, two, one, and good. Let's go ahead and step it back, step back, reach up towards the ceiling. Reset, come on up, do two more on that side. Step back, reach the ceiling. Oh, come on, I'm fire up, last one. Reach up, shoulders are low. Reset, go ahead and switch sides. Don't have to go all the way to the floor. Whatever is most appropriate for you, fire up. Big step, big stride going back. Reach up, really reach with the fingers, deep breath. Reset, last one. And good, go ahead and make your way to the floor. About a 15 second plank. Elbows under the shoulders and go ahead. Looking through your hands like you're reading a book. Feel your shoulders settling in. You kind of shift your weight right and left. Legs straight, hips and back straight. Four, three, two, one, and good. Facing me on all fours, hand overhead. This is one that we've done at the gym. We're gonna go elbow to elbow, and then elbow up to the ceiling. Elbow to elbow, elbow to the ceiling. Go ahead. About five or six on the left, then we're gonna do five or six on the right. Keeping hips still, legs are still. Two more. And up. 
together. That's good. And switch. Hand overhead. Should be focusing on upper back, the shoulder. Drive the elbow up toward the ceiling. Last two, one and two. Go ahead, follow me. We're gonna go into mountain climbers just to get the heart rate up here. Driving the elbows forward, you can go to opposite elbow or straight ahead, go ahead. Just 10 seconds here. Drive them, drive them, drive them. Feel the hip flexors engaging. Four, three, two, one, and good time. Awesome. All right, so we've got three circuits this morning, guys. Two exercises in each. There's four rounds that we're gonna do on circuit A, B, and C at 30 seconds, flat all the way across the board. First exercise, it's gonna be the first 20 seconds will be our row. So if you wanna loop the band like Jordan likes to do, great, in a row, keeping back flat, elbows tight for 20 seconds after 20. That's when you can either grab your lighter weights, different band or adjust the band. So I'm just gonna go one foot, reverse flies for 10 seconds, keeping arms straight. Second exercise is gonna be rack position. So just under the chin with the handles or the weight, hips are going back, deadlift for 30 seconds. After 30, you can either ditch the band or hang on to them, go and squat pulses for 10. And we'll remind you once we get there, just keep it in that gray area right there, right in the middle. Just back and forth between those two exercises. Starting with the row and reverse fly combination. Okay, 30 seconds here. So go ahead and grab your weights, get set. And then we can adjust, utilize those four rounds to adjust our resistance. Go ahead, Jay. All right, guys. So getting ready for our bench row. I think most of us have, yep, all of them have dumbbells. All right, get set. One second, sorry. And go. <clears throat> so 20 seconds on the row. And then we're going to go 10 seconds with the reverse flies. So if you have lighter weights, make sure you have them ready available. Just under 10 seconds to go. Keeping your eyes straight ahead, elbows straight back. Three, two, one. And then we're going to switch into reverse flies. Switch into reverse flies. All right, here we go. Get set. And go 10 seconds. That's it. You could have your feet square or you can go staggered stance just like Eric has. Great work, guys. That's it. Pinching the shoulder blades in the back. Very good. Almost there. Strong finish. Three, two, one, and time. So we're getting ready for our rack deadlift. Eric, real quick, if they have dumbbells, did you want them rack position too or just? No, actually, if you have dumbbells, go ahead and go at your side because sometimes that would be a little too much when it's out in front here. So yeah, hold them at your side. Thank you, Jordan. No problem. All right. So 30 seconds, get set and go. So remember, this is a deadlift. So slight bend in the knees, hinging your hips back. Control it on the way down. As I always say, hamstrings on the way down, squeeze the glutes on the way up. Really exploding through the heels over halfway already, guys. Nice job, nice steady pace. This one, you really don't want to rush especially since it's 30 seconds. So nice and controlled on the way down, a slow lower and then explode up. And time, go ahead, we're gonna do those pulses. You could do squat pulses or hinge pulses and go. Still hips back. Yep, still hips back, all weight on your heels. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome job, guys, awesome work. Getting ready for our bench rows again. And just like last set, have those lighter weights, lighter bands in place, get set, and go. So 20 seconds. Great work, guys. Again, if you feel this in the lower back at all, you could switch into a staggered stance as well, just like how Eric has it on the screen. Just over five seconds to go, guys. Nice job, good pace, good pace. Three, two, one and quick switch to the reverse flies. I'll give you guys a second, no need to rush. All right, get ready and go. So 10 seconds, arms fairly straight, slight bend is okay. Yep, and if you need to switch to that staggered stance, you can. Three, two, 
one and time. Awesome work, guys. Getting ready for our deadlifts now. Good. Dumbbells, dumbbells. Kettlebell, get set. And go. Great work, guys. Still keeping your shoulder blades back in this position as well. So hinging your hips back, exploding up through the heels. Nice and controlled pace here. Again, especially this exercise, it's not about conditioning. It's really about feeling the muscles being worked. Hamstrings on the way down, glutes on the way up. Last five seconds here, four, three, two, pulses for 10 seconds. Ready, and go. So pulses for 10 seconds. Not too low, not too high, right in that mid range. Great work, all weight on the heels. Awesome job, three, two, one, and time. Great work, guys, great work. All right, back to our bent over rows. All right, here we go, guys, get set, and go. That's it guys, nice job, good pace. And 20 seconds on this one. And then real quick for our reverse flies, again, we're not standing straight up. It's going to be in this same position as you, are, as you guys are doing these vent rows, same position for the reverse flies, ready and time. So switching to the lighter weight, lighter band, keeping that same posture, chest is gonna be naturally forward. Get set and go 10 seconds and staggered stance or square stance. Great work, guys, awesome job, good form. Three, two, one, and time. Back to our deadlifts. Eric, this is our last round, right? No, we have uh, one more after this. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, four rounds. All right, here we go, guys, get set, deadlifts, and go. That's it, guys. Nice job. Great form all across the board here. Hinging the hips back, driving up through the heels. Perfect pace, guys. Almost there. Strong finish here. Just over five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and uh, pulses. Ready and go. Pulses for 10 seconds. Constant tension on the quads, the glutes, the hammies. You feel it everywhere here in three, two, one, and last round, guys. Awesome work. Nice job. Nice job. Great first circuit. All right, last round of the circuit. Bench rows, get set, and go. That's it, guys. Nice job. There's nothing wrong with going to that staggered stance on the last exercise or last round. Whenever we do this shoulder width apart bent row, it's just a little more core related, which is why I can start to add up to the back as you fatigue. And time. Back to the reverse flies for 10 seconds. All right, guys, get set and go. Good work, guys. There you go. Nice job. Again, just a slight lean forward. Three, two, one, and time. Last exercise of this first circuit. All right, last round of deadlifts. Keeping that form solid. Get set and go. That's it, guys. Again, especially with the kettlebells, each arm not reaching down to your feet. You want to keep your shoulder blades back. Only thing moving should be those hips. Slide bend in the knees. Great work, guys. Shoulder blades back. Awesome job. Just over five seconds. Five, four, three, two, pulses. Right into the pulses. Get set. And go. Ten second pulse. Great work, guys. Awesome job. Awesome job. Three, two, one, and time. 
All right, four core in between. We've got plank position. Hips are gonna go up, come down, punch, punch. 30 seconds on that exercise, pike plus the punches. Then you'll go right into 30 seconds of X kick. So it's not up and down like scissors. We're actually alternating which one ends up on top. So facing you guys here, it's more here. So you're going a little wider and then switching which leg is on top. 30 seconds there, then we'll grab a drink, jump right in the circuit B. So starting with plank punches with the pike. Get set. All right, plank Eat. position, guys, on the elbows. Get set and go. So driving through the elbows, hips up, punch, punch. So punching each arm. Yep, there you go. Pike, punch, punch, pike, punch, punch. And when you're setting up for that, those punches, guys, making sure your hips are tucked. Don't leave the hips up in the air. Great work, great work. Almost there. Three, two, one, and switch. We're gonna be on our backs now. Again, the straighter the legs, harder it's gonna be. Try to keep uh, your chin tucked, get set, and go. Chin tuck, shoulder blades off the ground as much as you can, legs straight. The lower your legs are, the harder it's gonna be. And then you could have your arms elevated just like Eric does. You could have your hands under the tailbone if you feel that in the lower back. That's it guys, nice job, nice job. Five seconds left, four, three, two, and time. Good work guys, nice job. Some awesome quick drink. All right, whether you have weights or bands, next circuit, we've got one raise to two curls. So lateral raise, two curls. Lateral raise, two curls. Again, not all the way out to the side, but just slightly forward on the lateral raise. One raise, shoulder high is good. Two curls, awesome. Next time around, you can always switch legs without stepping on the band. Second exercise, we'll go body weight, or if you have dumbbells, you can hold on them. Feet together, step, lunge, step, lunge. Just alternating, lunges to the side. More knee friendly, of course, you can do more of a hinge. 30 seconds there, once we're done in 30 seconds, ditch the weights. Go in all four position like so for our hack squats, where our hips go up, bending at the knees. We'll burn out there for 15 seconds today. So 30 seconds of the lunges, 15 second burnout on the hack squats. Okay, so we're gonna start with the lateral raise, plus two curls. Okay, let's do it. Awesome, awesome. Doesn't take a whole lot for the lateral raise for weights, so maybe if you have five, 7.5s, maybe 10s. All right, side raises, one side raise to two curls, get set, and go. Just like Eric said, we're not going completely straight out to the side for those side raises, like uh, angled out just a little bit. That's it, guys, nice job. Two curls and a side raise. If you feel like you need to use too much momentum for those side raises, that the weights might be a little bit too heavy. Just adjust accordingly the next few rounds. Great work, guys. Almost there already. Three, two, one, and time. So you could keep the same weights, or if you need to adjust, it's going to be dumbbells each arm. And then it's going to, feet are going to start together, and then it's going to be those si alternating side lunges, alternating side lunges. Get set and go. Make sure you're still challenging lower body. Sometimes we can allow chest to come forward so much to where we don't lunge or hinge. Still making sure you're pushing through the uh, heel, load the side that you're working. That's it. Good work. So if you only have one dumbbell, just like Eric, it's going to be opposite arm to the side you're lunging to. Or you could have dumbbells each arm. Great work, guys. Three, two, one, and then we're gonna set up for our bench hack squats for 15 seconds. So knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, get set and go. So you're gonna go hips straight up to the air, making sure you're squeezing the quads every rep, even though this is a fast paced movement, you really wanna concentrate on squeezing those thighs. That's it guys, nice job, nice job. Three, two, 
one and time. Awesome work, guys. So back to our side raise and curls. Again, one side raise to two curls, keeping our weights light. Now, if, you're, uh, or if the weights are too light for the curls, you can go to three curls. That's totally fine. Get set and go. So one side raise, two curl, two or three curls, and then resetting. Side raise, three curls or two. Great work, guys. Awesome job. Good pace here. There you go, guys. Keeping those elbows in place for those bicep curls. Arms straight for the side raises. And time. Good work, guys. Back to our side to side lunges. All right, get set and go. Good. Switching arms as you go to the top of the movement. And then when you're lunging, try your best to keep that toe forward, hips go back. Yep, you don't need a super wide stride. As you can see on Eric's screen, he's not going super wide. Concentrating on that uh, hamstring, exploding off the heel to that starting position. Three, two, one, and time. Bench hack squats. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Get set and go. There you go. Squeezing those quads. Every single rep. Just over five seconds to go, guys. Great work. Three, two, one, and time. All right, round three of this exercise, guys. Now you guys got the movements. You guys know what weight to use. Get set and go. One side raise, two to three curls. One side raise, two to three curls. Great work, guys. Awesome job. Good form all across the board here. Good form, good pace. Let's keep it up now. Just over halfway. Good work. That's it, guys. Over five seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Nice job. Back to our side lunges, guys. Good work. Alternating side lunges. Get ready. And go. So keeping that toe forward, driving the hip back. Think about pushing the floor. Floating through the heel. Sorry, Eric. Go ahead. When I lunge with the left, push the floor way hard. Should feel glute hip engaging more. That's it guys, nice job. And keeping your chest and eyes forward. Hips go back, three, two, one, and time getting ready for our bench hack squats, guys. Here we go, get set. And go. Here. Get a little bit off the floor with your toes. Want to make it a little more plyometric, explosive. Still make sure you're getting plenty of reps. Three, two, one, and time. Last round, guys. Last round. Crushing this workout, guys. Good work. Get set. And go. One side raise, two to three curls. There you go. Nice job, nice job. And you could go staggered stance too, if you need to, a little bit more stable. Feel more comfortable with the feet square, that's totally fine. Just over 10 seconds of work here. Five seconds left, four, three, Two, and time. Nice job, guys. Back to our lunges. All right, last, last set of lunges. Get set and go. Donna, can we see your kettlebell collection? <laughs> she comes up with a different kettlebell every single exercise. They're also colorful, too. 
Yeah. <laughs> Leaves the screen, comes back with a purple one. <laughs> That's awesome. There you go, guys. Solid form. Yeah, not knee forward. Hips go back. Explode up through the heel and time. Bench hack squats. Last 15 seconds of the circuit, guys. And then into our core. Get ready. And go. <clears throat> Eric, maybe we should start with the scissors. Is that cool? Yeah. After. Just over five seconds of work. Four, three, two and time so right into our core position or into our core exercises we're going to start off with the scissors first since we were just sort of in our plank position get set get up on our backs get ready and go so again the lower your feet are to the floor the harder it's going to be if you feel this in the lower back at all you could have your hands under the tailbone hands under the glutes there you go guys nice job good pace here Awesome work, awesome work. Wrapping it out. Just over five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. So switching it uh, into that plank position. So elbows right under your shoulders. It's gonna be one pike to two punches. Get set and go. So pike, punch, punch, pike, reset. Tuck in those hips, punch, punch. Great work, guys, nice job. Breathing, quick little exhales on each punch. Really controlling your breathing in this exercise. And then again, tucking in those hips when you get ready for those punches, not leaving your hips up. Three, two, one, and time. Great work, guys. Go ahead, get some water. Awesome, awesome. All right, while you're grabbing your drink, looking in for circuit C, last circuit, split stance. We're gonna alternate rows. And instead of like a piston row or our punches, ground and pounds, instead of doing one after the other immediately, finish the row. So I finish the right, then go to the left. Finish the left, go to the right. Like so, you can switch legs next time around. Once we're done, 15 seconds there, then you can go to one weight or step in on the band with one foot, pressing out in front for our pellet presses for the following 15 seconds. So 15 of the alternating row, 15 of the pal press. Second exercise is gonna be a squat or deadlift with a pulse at the bottom. So if you have the bands, handles here, pulse at the bottom, fire up. Pulse at the bottom, fire up. Or you could hold a weight goblet hold like we normally do at the gym. Okay, so starting with our rows, alternating rows, relatively lighter on this one, maybe 15s, 10s or 15s, alternating rows. All right, and we'll go to paddle off press from there. All right, guys, getting ready. Dumbbells each arm. Get set and go. So it's going to be a staggered stance. So all weight on that front foot. Yep, perfect. Good. Again, finishing the row. Yep, so that arm's all the way, going to be all the way extended until you switch to that other arm and time so we're just going to drop down to one weight it's going to be a goblet hold get set and go so goblet hold or you could hold the ends just like eric does and then keeping those hands chest level okay keeping those hands chest level it is a chest and shoulder exercise but should feel it in the core as well good work guys and time awesome work so squat, goblet squat with a pulse, or we can go deadlifts with a pulse as well. Okay, so we have a mix. We have bands, kettlebells, dumbbells, get set, and go. So all the way down, pulse at the bottom, drive all the way up. Squat, pulse at the bottom, drive through the heels. Good work. That's it, guys. Nice job. Good work. Squeezing the glutes at the top without arching the back. Almost there, guys. Three, 
two, one, and time. Nice job. Good work. Back to our alternating rows. And then again, uh, you could switch legs this time around. I'll wait on that front foot, get set, and go. Again, completing the whole rep before you alternate to the other arm. And as you can see on Eric's screen, he has all of his weight on his front foot. So just like 10% on that back toe. Should still feel it in the glutes and hammies. Gets and time. So we're gonna switch to our paddle off presses, dropping down to one dumbbell. Get set and go. Again, only thing moving should be those arms. Don't let that back arch as you extend your arms. And then don't, not dropping the hands. Keep it chest level. Core is engaged the whole time. And time, good work guys. Awesome job. So squat with a pulse. All right, guys, get ready and go. <clears throat> Squat, pulse at the bottom, all the way down, pulse, drive up through the heels. Great work, guys. Awesome job. Awesome job. Doing really right, well straight here. ahead. Under control on the way down, keeping the tension even when you're pulsing. Strong finish, three, two, one, and time. Is anyone using the bands for the row, Jordan? Uh, no, Okay. I don't think so. All right, guys, here we go, get set, and go. Now we've got the form down, you get up your pace. Think about gripping the floor with the front foot. Keeping hips squared, facing forward. Three, two, one, and time. Back to our pal off press. Get set and go. Now, if you're feeling this in the lower back, you can go staggered stance on this one too. Yep, just like that, guys. Good work, good work. Almost there. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, and time, awesome work guys, nice job. Back to our squats. All right, get ready and go. Again, listening to your body. If you need to take a quick little break or take it just a deep breath and then come back at, uh, into it, that's totally, totally fine. There you go, guys. Nice job. Just over 10 seconds of work here. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Last round, correct? Yep. All right, last round here. Last round, best round. Strong finish with our alternating rows. Get ready and go. Nice job, guys. Good work. Strong finish three, two, one, and time. Last 15 seconds, get set and go. So some of you guys switch to the staggered stance, totally fine. Core engage the whole time, not arching the back. Five seconds left, four, three, two and time last 30 seconds before our core work all right guys strong finish here get set and go that's it guys nice job solid form Good pace, pulsing at the bottom, still driving up through the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top without arching the back. Last five seconds, four, three, two, and time. All right. 
start with the scissors again. Oh, we're going to start with the scissors again. So on our backs, alternating legs get set and go. Nice job, strong finish on the core here. Good form even at the end. Now we're going to crush some conditioning. There you go, guys. Nice job, nice job. Again, if you need to have your hands under your tailbone to relieve some pressure on the lower back, you can do so. Three, two, one, and time. So plank position, elbows under your shoulders. Get ready and go one pike, reset, two punches, one, two, and then reset, pike, punch, punch. Trying your best to not uh, turn the hips as you punch. You can have a wider base if you need to widen up the feet. Almost there, guys. Five seconds left, four, three, two, and time. Go ahead and get a quick drink, guys. Awesome work, nice job. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, finishing up with some conditioning here. Three rounds, just two exercises, going 30 seconds on each of them. First one is gonna be our burpee, plus three mountain climbers on each leg. And you can add a jump, you could use a bench or step, or you could do just the burpee, or just the mountain climber. So let's pop it back, go one, two, three, reset, pop back up. Continuous for 30 seconds. Second exercise is gonna be our star get-ups, where we start on the floor, stick the star pose, arms up, legs out. Pop up, you could use your hands, you could add a jump, or you can get up to the side, whatever's most efficient for you to get plenty of reps with good form. Alternate exercise for the star get-ups is gonna be our hinge jumps or hinge swings. Okay, you can go up to your toes, you can jump, or go for speed with just the hinges. Okay, so that's an either or. Starting with our burpee plus three mountain climbers on each side. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, 30 seconds. So burpee to mountain climber, get set, and go. So hands on the floor, three each leg, pop back up. Great work, guys, that's it, awesome job. And if you need, just need to switch only to mountain climbers, that is solely fine, only to burpees, that is solely fine. Or if you need to elevate your hands onto a bench too, that's it. Three mountain climbers, each leg pop up. Good pace, almost there guys, almost there. Last five seconds here, four, three, two, and time. So switching to our star get-ups or hinge jumps. Star get-ups or hinge jumps, get set. And go. Star position, drive up through the heels. There you go. So with the hinge jumps, you could just do hinge swings too, like the air swings. Yep, perfect guys. Great work, great work, good pace. Almost there, just over five seconds to work. Four, three, two, and time. All right, back to our burpee mountain climber combo. Again, three mountain climbers per leg, get set, and go. So down, one, two, three per leg and pop back up, good. Awesome work, guys. Nice job, nice job. Awesome, awesome, keep it going. Strong finish here. Dig deep, last five seconds here, four, three, two, and time. So back to our hinges or star get-ups. Hinge or star get-ups. Get set. And go. Awesome work, guys. Nice job. Good pace, everybody. <clears throat> Just over halfway. Keep pushing. Keep working. All right, strong finish here, strong finish. Last five seconds, four, three, two, 
and time. Last round, Eric. Yep, last round here. Let's get it. Last round, best round, last two exercises of work. Here we go. Strong finish, get set. And go. Three mountain climbers each side. Pop all the way back up. This is the last round, guys. Everything you got left. Good work, everyone. Good pace. Last 10 seconds of this exercise. Five, four, three, two, and time. Last 30. Star get ups, hinge jumps. Everything you got left for 30 seconds, guys. Strong finish here. In three, two, one, and go. Which exercise, whichever exercise you guys are doing, strong finish, all out for 30 seconds. Great work, guys. Nice job, nice job. Last 10 seconds now. Last 10 seconds, all out for five seconds here. Strong finish, ready? Five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome work, ladies. Nice job, nice job. Way to work this morning. Awesome, awesome. Glad you guys could unmute yourself. 